our trips go from our base camp on the snowmobiles and to the glacier. Trips that let you explore Iceland by snowmobile. So we're uh, about 20 kilometers away from Langjökull, and Langjökull is the second largest glacier well, in Europe. Most of the time, the people who are doing these tours with us are doing it for the first time. Nobody should be worried to, uh, to do this activity of all ages. We've had people in their 90s, we've had people who uh, have prosthetic limbs or blind people even. Uh, and uh, yeah, we do our best to teach everyone how to properly use a snowmobile and uh, keep everybody safe and uh, make sure everybody knows how to do it and what to do. And getting to base camp so you can gear up is part of this adventure. We're actually a little bit on the edge of nowhere. Uh, where our base camp is, uh, as you might have felt when you came up here, your ears popped. That's the sign you're in the Highlands. And they take a bus ride and we take them up to our base camp. Look at you! And uh, we get them suited out for snowmobiles, uh, both with suits and helmets, whatever they need. We provide everything to keep you warm and safe and dry. The clothing is designed for the most brutal weather conditions. They're putting on a overall. Uh, in Icelandic, we refer to them as kraftkali. So uh, we have used these kind of suits for many years and it keeps you really warm in the winter months, so up to negative 20, 25 degrees Celsius. And we are going to be riding in a single file formation. Need any assistance, you can always stop your snowmobile, raise your hand. Let's just get a show of hands here. Who wants to, who wants to go fast? And we usually go a guide in front, a guide in the middle and a guide in the back. Once uh, you get more confident on the snowmobile and you're able to go a bit faster, uh, as long as the people in your group are at the same rate, then we do adjust our speed. We do allow people to go faster. People still have fun even though there is low visibility or uh, like blizzard whiteout. You know, that's what people come here to experience. So it isn't all about going fast on the snowmobile. It's simply going experience Icelandic weather the glacier that we're snowmobiling around is the second largest glacier in, in Europe and we, we don't really cross it very much, we go on top of it a lot. Uh, luckily it is a quite flat glacier so it's quite safe, there are not many crevasses. Iceland's weather does change by the hour. The weather changes quite quickly and frequently but luckily we do have uh, a lot of monitoring systems and we do uh, in fact even have our own weather station right here behind me that has uh, cameras and monitors the weather for us, so we always have a live feed. There is a reason people travel here from around the world. It's a beautiful place, beautiful people, friendly people. If you come in summer, you experience the 24 hours sunlight. If you come in winter, you get to experience the northern light. Uh, I think uh, for those who haven't been to Iceland, they should at least give it a, give it a thought. Come here, experience it. It's a reason it's popular.